Have you heard about the special packet trains? Have you heard about this Kayamata special packet train? Oh, <laughs> what is this different? Like, what special packet? The and what is your take? But did you see that video? No. Ah, there was this girl. Welcome back to my channel today. My name is Onyeka Ukaigwe and today I have a guest with me. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sylvie. I'm a YouTuber based here in Nigeria. So um, today's vlog, we are just going to have a talk. We're going to talk. So just feel relaxed and we are going to talk about life. We're going to talk about depression, everything. And we have our cup of water here. So as we talk, we are also just going to stay hydrated and you know you know what it's not about mind water. our business mind your business <laughs> but today we are not actually minding our business <laughs> so i just have some couple of questions i wrote down as well i asked people and i also checked the internet so i'm just going to ask these questions while we answer it giving our own different perspective on mm -hmm. what to think about it so yeah let's just start okay so the first question now i'm going to ask is um what is the best advice you give to your younger self mm. like what's the best advice you give to your younger self well um hmm. i guess i would tell her to take her time okay. um i felt like when i was younger i kind of like rushed into things a bit well, well, not a lot of things. I'm talking specifically about like maybe university and choosing the course okay. to, to, to study in university. Yeah. Like I just literally just rushed into it and just was it, was it Was it like from parents or it because... Actually, I wasn't quite first into anything really. I just really didn't know what to do and I just like went for anything that the, the first option that was there. I didn't take my time to really decide and yeah I, I just wish i took i took my time you took your yeah time. just just take your time slow down there's no need to rush it because you know like af after like secondary school now everybody, everybody was wants entering to, into yeah, university you don't want to class, class, class. At home. exactly I like no exactly so i just like decided on anything and just went for, went it. for it so i wish i took my time to really decide what to study yeah yeah my own part i would feel you know you, you know my story now <laughs> My own, I went from medicine to accounting. Um, accounting. So that one was definitely, I would advise myself to take my time. In the end, I noticed medicine was not even eventually mm. for me because it's mm. not for everybody. That was the first one I'll give, and uh, that's the first advice well, I'll give well, to for myself. That, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm proud of you for that because not everyone has the courage to switch you get? like not everyone has that courage so so you actually did a great thing to make that decision and it wasn't easy can you no imagine how nigerian parents uh, are you know, like, my daughter is studying medicine then after six months my daughter is not studying medicine again mm. what do you want me to tell my friends yeah <laughs> so that advice is like i would definitely tell myself please don't rush things that was one two i'm going to tell myself to always look at the bigger picture mm. like once you're doing something you don't just have to it's um, not fast it doesn't just happen overnight because me i'm always wanting hey this thing is not happening yeah or this thing is not going i want this to happen right. in the next minute mm. i'm going to tell myself to always look at the bigger picture mm. and take your time yeah things don't happen overnight yeah, yeah so that's yeah. nice one yep so um the second question today is um at what age do you think it's appropriate to start dating? <laughs> <laughs> at well, what age do you think it's I feel like this is a bit of a shaky subject per se, like because I don't think there is a uh, yeah, yeah, there's, no, age. there's no appropriate there's age no appropriate to actually age. start dating and and just because you're a particular age doesn't mean you're necessarily mature. Very good. So yeah. just because okay, someone is even twenty two or twenty three doesn't mean they're actually ready. So it's not about age really. It's about the um how how mature, mature they right? are. Because you can see someone that's eighteen and more mature than someone that is yeah. like twenty two. Yeah, absolutely. But but I would definitely say do not rush do not rush into any relationship uh, because other people around uh -huh. you are in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And get into a relationship, just be ready because it's not it's, it's, it's a whole like, lot yes it takes your mental health it takes your 
spiritual, physical, everything, everything for you to get so, to this. So make sure you're ready to take responsibility for different aspects of your life because yeah. everything can happen. Especially, except if you just want to do the relationship for fun. Right. Hey, that's right. Different. But if it's more like a serious relationship, I just feel take your time. Take yeah. your time. Yeah, and don't just rush into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that is good. Okay, the next question is um your worst dating experience, what turns you off in a guy? Ah. Okay, first of all, let's answer this first. What's your worst dating experience? I I don't have a, a worst dating experience really. I don't have one. So I don't think I have a worst dating experience. But what turns me off in a guy is a guy that talks too much. Yeah, why? <laughs> no, it's a different like I have this, I have that. Mm. Uh, when you come back, like he more like bragging, mm. something like that. Mm. I, that is a turn off. That yeah. is one and number two. Why will you be having bad breath as, <laughs> <laughs> as a human being? Man. As a human being, how do you have bad breath? It's possible for people not to know that they have bad breath. Because, mm. because so makes I'm like, do you actually know that you have bad breath? Because if you know some you people, have bad breath, some people you don't. work on it. Some I don't people think don't. People do. But at the same time, some people do, and maybe they are working on it at that moment. Mm. But maybe they, they can't help it. No? Maybe and like back to what you said about the whole dragon stuff. Like I really, really. I so yeah, back to what you said about the whole bragging stuff. I really, really dislike it when guys feel like they can get a, a girl or a lady with money. They feel like, okay, okay, just because I, I get you dinner or just because I buy you gifts, like you automatically be mine or you want to have sex with me and stuff Do like you that. Get, like, like that is so, so disgusting. You think your money can buy me? No, I'm not. Like I don't like you know, like like Nigerian men like you just feel like ah once I just open pocket and she will come to me. Already spent on her. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything things. yet. Yeah, I'm not seeing. All right. So the next question is, um, with this whole pandemic and 2020, what lesson do you learn from it from from Koro? <laughs> <laughs> what lesson? Everything about 2020. What, what lesson do you learn? Have from? Have different sources of income. That is the number one thing. Have like, different sources of income. Even if you're a nine to five worker, if you have something so else. Have an investment. Work. Have something. Like you, you know, like it's important, man. Because if you're just depending on one thing, that thing can crash. There are so many businesses that have crashed. There are so, so many, many people they sent out of their left, um, lost their, their job. job. Yeah. So if imagine if you had investments, some savings, you also had emergency funds. Because it's one thing to have different sources of income, and it's another thing to uh, be saving. Yes, yes, because yes. a lot of people don't save. Like have an account where you don't touch, except there's an emergency. Because Corona is was an was an was emergency. An emergency definitely. A lot of people their account was wiped out because they had to stock up and stuff yeah. like that. So having an emergency fund is absolutely important and different sources of income. Yeah. That's what I would say. You're thinking money. <laughs> I'm thinking money. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's a very, very important point. And I'm just going to add one more point again. That mm. just has to do with you knowing that nothing in life is certain. Mm. Like, is you, you have to, you're going to plan today and you're thinking, okay, tomorrow is sh- sure or tomorrow is certain. It's not possible. Mm. So despite the fact that you need to save for rainy days, at the same time, you need to live life one step at a time. You need to take life slow. Nobody saw this pandemic coming. I mean, it just took everybody like this. Yeah. And the next minute, people are dying. I'm very sure that most of people wish they did something. Maybe they, they actually said hello to a stranger or, you know, all those little, little things in life. People wish they did it. But in the end, all this just happened and here we are. Yeah. So I would just say you should just take it easy and um nothing is setting here, yeah? nothing is setting in life especially. Mm-hmm. So you just have to yellow 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 <laughs> <laughs> enjoy your life while it lasts. Yeah, yeah. more of it. Okay. okay. So my other question, have you heard about the special packet trend? Have you heard about this Kayamata special packet trend? Oh, <laughs> what is this special I'm like, what special packet? The and what is your take? Off. Did you see that video? No. no there was this girl that came now, she was like, if, okay, she's selling this Kayamata, whatever, mm-hmm. aphrodisiac. So if you want her to make 
one for somebody. Let's say you're making for Toby now. Okay. You saw that video, right? Yes, a, a, a girl. She's based in Abuja, She's right? Abuja based. Now, if you want her to make um this bring stuff, the name. If you're bringing, you're making for Toby. You can't go and use it on Debola because it is going. It's not going to work. If you're make, if she's making for you and you're bringing Toby's name, you have to use it on Toby. So I, I just want to understand what is like what's your getting thing? real? Isn't this like witchcraft, voodoo? What? <laughs> According to my friend, she said there is no need to sugarcoat it. It's jazz is jazz. It's jazz. <laughs> like this is jazz. You're taking someone's name, someone's personal details. Before to I, I to felt, try to make them fall in love do, with you. Do you understand? And she went ahead to say something like, um, if let's say someone else came to meet her, mm. And both of you are using that same thing, that same stuff for the same man. And she's sorry, you guys have to go and sort yourself out because she doesn't know. So I'm like, what is actually happening? The video I saw, there was no one she spoke about married men. Like, if if your husband is cheating, no, she's pregnant, she's, she's pregnant. married, so that was she's one that was, free. Yes, she said, that was one that was busting my head. I was like, what's happening? So do you think in the end, when you use this thing on someone, then you are good to go? Like, you don't feel life will just be very easy for you or what? I don't know what, what the thought process of those that use it. I, I don't know what they think, but definitely I, th I believe that it's wrong. You can't forcefully make because that's I mean, forcing someone to fall in love with you, me. forcing someone to give you money because all of us would so then do this for the money. It's money. They want they want the men to be their sponsors yeah. or whatever like that. It's not right. You can't do that with people. And there are people who would use these unmarried men. They'll try to get another woman's One's man. man. And that, that is just because wrong. Then it is married man that will pay you. Money. Yeah. So we'll it's, it it's absolutely man. wrong. And why will you even use it on someone? Okay, even if it's not a married man, someone you want to spend your life with, like you want to marry, and then you're using. Do you have to, to like your way of forcing it? Is it worth it? It's it's not worth. I, I want to. I want to. I want you guys to let leave a comment down below. I want to know what you guys think. Like you guys know people that use this voodoo stuff and like what you think about, about it because it. i personally think it's absolutely wrong i don't know anyone that's that's, that's done, done it, it before. i just see it on social media i'm like first is of it all, that deep it's really? that deep do you have to go that far it all started with this whole normal aphrodisiac aphrodisiac can be very normal you can actually take i heard about the whole bead ones the ones that you buy blue eye blue eye <gasps> I don't even know man but just for me the worst part is the fact that they will use it on married men as well. Even if he's a single guy using it for he shouldn't be coerced into yeah, being in a relationship. Yes, yeah, what should do for someone? It's absolutely it's wrong. wrong. It's a no no for me. Alright. Okay, so the next question is at what point do you think it's okay to walk away from a relationship? At what point do you think it's okay to walk away from the relationship? When you feel like you're no longer receiving value or giving out value because you know a relationship should be building you up yeah, one way or another there are different aspects of our lives it should be building you up one way or another so when you feel like you're no longer in that state of receiving you know valuable something like what, what do you mean by value? The value it could be spiritual growth like growth in any way when i say value like you're no longer growing mm -hmm. so maybe your spiritual growth or your career growth because obviously your partner can in like invest like mentally, mentally not yeah. necessarily mon um, monetary wise mentally. like mentally and all that so if you're not growing and if you feel like it's toxic ah, that when, was the word i actually wanted to just say when like, you feel it's toxic like when you feel like you, you just feel bad in that relationship obviously when i think it's time to go but i feel like in, in everything we should always put in effort yeah because, because i'm not sure like you don't just feel yeah, like okay, I'm taking yeah exactly out because something. the relationship is a commitment first of all so you have to you have to search for your in, in yourself like are you putting in effort like is there anything you can yeah, do yeah. to make it better you, can, you can't just say okay i'm not that feeling it i'm, I'm oh. off so you have to take out time to try to make it better that if it's like still working it's not one that is beating you up your sin is not working you still want just to just fly if, I love if it's beating you or, or just you being very violent of course you, you don't need to try to settle that just leave mm -hmm. but in things like all this you know because there are some people that are in some, some some relationship and you're wondering like why what okay what do what is he giving to you mm. you you hear stories like he's beating me but um at the end he apologized did you see that video of this girl docker's 
DS, uh, what's her name? And she made a yeah. video. Of, uh, he gave me. I got the flower today. Okay, I saw that it. Was trending. He keeps giving her flowers and keeps beating he her. He keeps beating her, but she he will, will just come with this little talk like, okay, I'm sorry, I love yeah. you, blah, 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 and that's yeah. it. That's some yeah. girls that still stay inside those relationships. And I'm I like, know it can why? be difficult because it's not easy. Fall in actually, love. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy to leave. Like but then just try your best. Like your life depends on it. People mm-hmm. die. Mom is more like what's this word again? They use it. You have to leave to leave. Mm. Like you have to L E A V E to L I V E more likely. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Makes sense. All right. So the next question is My goodness, why is mental health so underrated? I feel it's number one is lack of exposure. Mm. You know, when, when you're coming to meet someone that doesn't really know something about, about mental health, they don't even believe, they they don't believe in it, and they're like. A uh, girl, what's wrong with you now? Stop to behave like this now. Or uh, pray. Man, no, uh, go and pray. Go and pray. Because Nigerians are very, very <laughs> religious. <laughs> very religious. So, you know, someone is, you're telling someone how you feel, like from your heart or heart. This is how I feel. I don't feel good. I feel like this is happening. And, that, and the person is there telling you, go and pray now. Why are you misbehaving like this? Well, they say I feel it's more, village. yes, it's more on the guys too. I say, you know, guy, you have, you have to man up now. You're a man. You're a this. That, like, that, that word man up, Sha. It's, it's too like there's a lot of pressure going on, especially on the guys' side. Yeah, and it's really good. For, it could have goes to, it could have gone to the Yeah, goes to it's guys. not easy. Like, we, do, we don't talk a lot about the things guys face, yeah. but we really have to acknowledge that they go through a yeah. lot, a lot of societal pressure, family pressure. Pressure from their code, from their fellow guys. It's yeah, not easy, really. True. Man and, up. And like, what's man up? Why would you say someone to man, man up? Allow him to be vulnerable yeah. at any time he feels like, because yeah. he's human, regardless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And but back to the um, what was it again? The whole depression, depression thing stuff. in Nigeria. I don't know why Nigerians are like that, but a lot of Nigerians don't believe that depression, anxiety. They don't believe it's real. They feel like it's for Oyibo people. Mm-hmm. Well, that is that it's Oyibo people that feel that type of way. They feel like as a Nigerian, you you're, you're meant be. to have the black mouth. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you should. You know, I don't even get it. I can't really explain why they feel that way. Mm-hmm. But I just hope that with more exposure, with more education on the people subject, get to know that depression, more is, especially during this um, pandemic oh. period, do you know what happened? You, this girl, what's this girl's name? I don't know if you watch This Is Us. No, I don't watch it. But this right, the, this I mean, oh. the person that wrote This she, Is she, Us, she, she committed suicide. suicide, and I'm like, how? Someone that has won Oscar, or is it Golden Globe or Oscar? You have this whole achievements to yourself, and then why do you still go and commit suicide? That is to show you the amount of the way the rate actually depression is actually real. It's not just for the rich, it's not for the poor, it can happen to any body. Do, do you have any personal depression story? Yeah, I have, yeah, because someone like me, eh, I play a lot of things on my head, like once things are not working out for me, that mm-hmm. is like. You feel down. I feel down. I'm going to shut down. So now I'm thinking, God, um, what's going to happen to you? So I'm a very good matika. What's going to happen to you from now? Will I have a job or what's going to happen to my life? How will it be? Mm-hmm. Or if I just want something and things are not just going the way I want, especially mm-hmm. once you see Instagram. Eh? <laughs> if you look at people's life. I don't know, somebody needs to open my ear and tell hey, me. Don't don't don't, don't. don't. but I know it's here. I know it's like once it's I go online sometimes case. I'll be like, ah oh god, see how this is happening to this girl. She's living the life, she has a good paid job. Ah she this this she's here tomorrow, she's here. No, we don't know their I, struggles. We don't man. know their struggles. I keep telling know. myself this every time. Social media is a pl- it's more like people's office. You know you just have to dress up and yeah. look good in your office right, now. Right. You can't just come to your office and be crying to people. Exactly. <laughs> Something exactly. like that. Because they, they are not even entitled to exactly. show you the no. bad side yeah, of their true. life. So you just have to know for yourself that okay, they are living their life and I may not be where they mm-hmm. are, but then I will, I will get there eventually, yeah. like gradually. It's not easy, but then we just have to keep reminding ourselves that it will it will all be good it will be good and it will be good yeah. So, yeah the last question now okay <laughs> all right so the last question is um, give us a good one <laughs> um, have you had your heart broken before and what does it feel like like heartbreak now <laughs> <laughs> have you had your had your heart broken before and what does it feel like let me know what you think because me i haven't had it <laughs> and it wasn't, it wasn't even funny mm. it wasn't funny at all honestly i haven't had my heart broken before are you serious man? yeah very serious like it always okay i had a relationship that didn't necessarily end amicably 
it was a bit of a sad ending but I, you were I wasn't heartbroken. heartbroken. Why? Why were you not heartbroken? I don't know. Like, is it important to to be heartbroken after a relationship? Okay, actually, it depends on how be- the because, relationship because ended. Because missing missing the person is different from being heartbroken, is, isn't it? No, definitely it is. Heartbreak is more like number the one. How did you wrong? Mm-hmm. It can come from you. The, the person doing you wrong, or you doing the person wrong, mm-hmm. or maybe you guys are not just meant sure. for each other, and it just and then it can lead to heartbreak. And mm-hmm. so many things can lead to heartbreak, Shabon. I've never been, but maybe I have actually had my heart broken. How was it? Tell us. Shattered pieces broken. What? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Tell me that. Okay. <laughs> the, the relationship did actually end well. That was why. That was the more reason. And if I felt if it ended in a much better way, in a more better way, I would have felt the way I felt. Mm. So it just ended. This one went this way. So now I went this way and. Something about heartbreak, I can't tell you what heartbreak is. You have to actually experience it. So even if I'm saying I had my heart, I had my heart broken before, and this is how I felt, you won't understand until you actually feel it. Feel it, and it's not a good feeling. Yes, yeah, it isn't. So how did you like get out of that? What did I? I I, I felt I did more of. I had to look for distractions. Mm. Yeah. So did you have a rebound. I didn't have a rebound. I didn't want to do something that I will end up regretting. Uh-huh. That was why I didn't really look at that rebound side. But if I wanted to, I would have. But I knew that was not the best way to tackle Absolutely. that situation. What I did was that I just, number one, acceptance. I accepted, okay, this has happened. It has actually happened. You need to get yourself together and you need to move on. Mm-hmm. Yes, I accepted that. Okay, before it, I was like, no, it's not happening. How would me? How would they break my heart? Mm-hmm. That kind of thing. But you try so, to get him back. There are some things I feel that you don't have to force anymore. Okay. It's that happens to happen, just allow it. Yeah. Just allow it to go. Mm-hmm. So I did more of I prayed. I asked God, God, please just allow this to help pass. Me. Yeah. Help me heal through this process and all of that. Mm-hmm. Then I accepted the fact that girl, you are single as a Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> you are single as a Pringle, so you have to move on. Then I started doing stuff to just distract me. You know, yeah. I was just doing I started sewing, then I was sewing clothes and all those things. So I just found distractions, and before you knew it, you're better. I'm better. I forgot about it. And everything kind of. is, yeah, kind of. Not kind of, actually. It's good now. Yeah. I'm better. <laughs> That's good. Yes, so that is it. all for this video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. So let um, me know what you think. Because because obviously these are our opinions yeah. really. So definitely let us know your opinions and then we're open to different opinions. It's yeah, a discussion, different opinions really. Actually, so, it's a discussion. So yeah. you can just leave a comment down below and thank you very much. And don't forget to please drink water. <laughs> and mind your business sometimes. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my own channel. Yeah, I'll link down below. I'll link down below. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.